Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan, I'm part of the e-learning team at Barnet and Southgate College. I'll be, I'll be introducing to you how to install Skype onto your computer and how to create an account and how to use it. First off, you'd want to sign in. If you haven't got one already, first you want to do is create an account. If you've got a Hotmail account, you can also link. You can also just sign in with your Hotmail account. Uh, once you've gotten to this part, all you have to do is fill out all the details on there, and then it will. Once you've actually done it, just going to sign in. It will take you to this screen, and it's got a list of like different subscriptions, account. I mean, account information and things like that. And if you want to go to downloads and and then click on get Skype for Windows Desktop. If you've got Skype if you've got a a MacBook or anything like that, there's a Skype for it as well. And then next you'd want to click on it. Say yes. And you just have to go through the steps on installing Skype. Um after you successfully installed it, all you have to do is log in. Just waiting for this to load up. And also when you sign in, and that's the basic layout of your Skype. Um, once you're on this page, the first thing you'd like to do is to see you want to change your profile. Is add, you can add a picture from here, add a message, add a mobile phone number, add an email address, or change your details. You also view your account and see other things. And let's say you want to, you'd like to add someone to your contact list. First, you want to do is grab the email or grab the Skype name, and exert it. And next, you want to send a request. Sweet. And once it, he's he's accepted you, he'll he'll become green with a tick on it, and that enables you to talk to him so you can say hello. And you, if you could type whatever you want in there, it's like a message in an instant messenger. It's quite quick. He'll respond almost immediately. And also, let's say you'd like to use voice. You just have to click call, and you can call them. And it will take you to an option where you're calling them, which looks like this. I'm just going to close that because it's not needed. And also, you can either do a, you can also do a video call, which works the same way, but you use a cam and a mic, and you can video you can video call them. I'm afraid the video call only works one on one to one with the free Skype, but in order for you to get the group one, which I'm not I'm not entirely sure how many it can do, you can have a big group conversation using video cameras. You can also add other people to it by just clicking add to part add people and you can add whoever you want to the call. They can see it and they can see it and they can talk in it as well. This includes the call feature as well, but not including the video callback. Um, there are also other features like you can change your online status to offline or invisible so people can't talk to you or let's say you're really busy you don't want to be disturbed. You also create create groups. You can also add contacts from here. You can also send, send instant messages. You can also block people, add to friend lists, hide your, con your conversations. You can also click on your call button here. You can also click on your contacts, there's different tools, there's many other features that are included in Skype. Um, also Skype can also be installed from Zenworks which can be found on the Barnet and Southgate computers. This would be very useful for teachers who have students who aren't at college. They were to message them and talk to them over Skype and they can see whether or not they're online and they can also let's say they they're offline they can also drop a message and when the when they come online they'll be able to see it. Uh, thank you for listening and you'll be expecting more videos from me. Bye for now.